Hello and welcome back to Europa Universalis 4 Well, we continue to play as Portugal Now, you may notice that we are a bit uh, ahead of where we left off The date moved a bit That's because I tried to play last night before Steam starting to started to update their 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 multiplayer stuff their connection and the whatnot steam was offline for about five hours for me at least so uh, while I was playing the connection to this to the cloud saves were lost so we lost uh, a bit of the, the episode there don't worry nothing really important happened uh, we are still in a regency it's uh, our air is still 11 years from becoming the king to ascending to the throne to start the rule so for now we are still in the regency council and they aren't good we are losing a bit of military power per month due to our leaders we have two uh, out of one possible without upkeep so well, let's see what we can do with it. We cannot start another world with Mali because we are in a Regency Council, so we have to make do with the money that we got from the previous war. Uh, I am actually going to try and go for the fourth colony, if I can, so we can make this decision of colonial expansion. Oh. Uh, well, we can pass it with Duart. So let's get this started. Uh, we are still allied with Spain. We have a royal marriage. Yep. And the improved relations modifier starting to decay. So let's let's improve because our diplomats are bored. They have nothing to do. We recruited a few more guys up here in the previous episode to keep our colony safe and let's see how's our force limit going we can actually recruit five more I'm going to do it not right now but I'm going to do it to keep an eye out on Brazil five guys is more than enough to crush to crush a few um, to crush a few natives our commandant died, we got another one, so it's, a, it's an even trade. Our legitimacy will drop further. As you can see, we are losing 1.65 per year. Damn, it's a lot. Uh, we might face a bit of revolts, so... Yeah, I might actually move these guys to, to the Gold Coast and leave them here for a while and take our best army and leave it in Portugal for now so Gold Coast finished good let's call it I am going to send to Fernando Po right next uh, they, the natives are a bit of a pain uh, as you can see they have a lot of aggressiveness and there are not so much natives there uh, so it's not so valuable but as I said before we are trying to play as historically as possible with that in mind we are going to colonize Fernando Po yep doesn't make much sense but we are going to do it so our colonists just returned we are going to continue to expand our colonies in Brazil Pernambuco is about to to be a full-fledged province, there we go we'll call it and our army arrived so let's put these guys on the boat home and I only have 9 cocks, why do I only have 9 cocks? where are my other fleet? there okay, we have to make 2 trips oh lovely Get there. If what one one okay, not so bad. We 
could actually leave this like this, but... Uh, so, Mali is trying to fabricate a claim. Well, he might just try and attack us. That would be good. So I'm actually going to leave these right here. And I might just put the best leader there. We'll see. If they start a the war, then we'll do it. So let's join our fleet. They need some repairs. So let's go and... Oh, of course they did. New trade research is radical. We have had a complaint from several dignitaries in our country that the new practice of our merchants are clearly heretical and that we should put a stop to them. Except that the men are ignored. I'm going to ignore them. And I'm going to take the mission to fortify Gold Coast because it's only to have a Earth Rampart and it gives us one man power and one army tradition. Uh, yeah, we're going to do this. The Tangiers mission may seem really good to you. But keep in mind that uh, to core the Morocco provinces, uh, I can actually show you, also core creation on us, plus 200%, it costs a lot to core them. So 200, not enough. I know, I tried it. Ah, apologies. So, what are we doing now? Well, we are only waiting for our king to come of age, which is still a while to go. He only has six years. Well, nine more. In 85. So we discovered Lake Volta, right here. Mali is starting to siege that province. We are starting to core this province. Well, it's all going according to plan. Let's see how much money does Mali have now. So Mali has 290. Not that much. I was expecting more. But I guess we just went to war with them. So they haven't had time. They haven't had the time to recover. Especially since they seem to be in an endless uh, civil war or problems with rebels so it's hard to keep your money when you, you have internal problems like that so we discovered Sierra was damaged but they have only three so it's not that important it will set us back a, while, a bit but not that not that much we are still losing money oh of course now I can drop my maintenance and if I dropped my maintenance I might actually oh damn I really want one of these guys because diplomatic power is important as Portugal I can't stress this enough I can't stress it enough so we are going to lose money lovely again so temples Let's see what we can do to counter this. Constable, okay, one there. Oh, I'm still making the core. So we cannot do anything as of right now. We could build uh, a temple here, but it's not worth it and we are losing a lot, a lot of money. So we're just gonna have to live with it. Okay, our tech points, are, our monarch points are going up and we can invest in a technology. Lovely. We could get our second idea and we are going to take it. Uh, there are already some who have it. Let's see who it is first. Let's see, country, nations, technologies, admin. Ohm. Ohm has admin tech level 7. So, let's see. There, there he is. Let's see what it shows. Religious. Trade and religious. Uh, which, as a landlocked province, trade... Yeah, okay. 
yeah, I think he could have done better, but oh well. And economic and Spain shows as their first idea religious. Okay. Okay, so let's pick our and noble our noble republic tech. And we can get another idea. Now, as you guys remember, if we had our genius diplomat king yet I was going to go for another diplomatic idea. We don't anymore. So, what are we going to do? We are going to go with innovatives. Uh, this is a really, really good idea. You have uh, a discount to tech at level 3, prestige GK minus 2, and at the end you get leaders without upkeep plus 1. I could go for economic, and it makes a lot of sense to go there as well because we are losing a ton of money and tax modifier is really good build cost cheaper build cost awesome yearly inflation reduction of course interest per annum possible advisors plus one maintenance modifier for a large country that's focused on land this is really important and production efficiency in the end you can reduce inflation with direct action S but at, as the first idea, I'm going to choose innovative. Why? Because this will make the most, uh, as the second idea, sorry, as will make the most, most, uh, uh, we'll, we will make the most out of it. Technology cost minus 5% might not, might not seem like much, but with our university in Coimbra and our possible advisors, well, it will make a difference. And also, our king is a better administrator than a diplomat. So, that's not saying too much, but oh well. So, we are going to get another, uh, another idea in the exploration. Because it will give us another colonist, which is really, really good, plus colonial range. So, there we go. And we are still continuing to go with... The Brazil. I'm going to try and get as much of Brazil as possible while keeping in mind that I, I need to get around Africa. That's our goal. And of course it always needs to happen at least one or twice every episode. So our stability is plus one. We should be reducing the money that we lose every month now for a little bit but yes and our diplomat is still improving relations with Castile uh, our relations with the purple state are yeah not that bad but we cannot influence any cardinal so I'm not even going to bother with it. Excellent Viceroy is awesome. By the way guys, I'm not uh, going to Sierra to to colonize and I went to Bahia because I really want uh, the, the other modifier and actually I forgot that we can't enact them as of, yet, as of right now. Yeah, so it was a waste. Alright, so Gold Coast is almost done, and there, Gold Coast is the core, now we're going to build the Earth Rampart because it's our mission. If you guys notice, we have a bit of inflation and our the cost to build went up a bit, that's what inflation, inflation does, and Pernambuco is done, and Pernambuco, if I remember correctly, was a really good place to build a constable, correct, 1.06 per year, but still, it's important. In terms of ranking, we are 9th in administrative and 10th in diplomatic. It's not much, but we will start making more money uh, as soon as those colonies become uh, provinces and 
when we have the, the trade idea which will be the next one so we can steer much more trade from Brazil and from India back to our mainland so we can make more money we can and will take the military tech level 7 which is uh, which will give us access to artillery very very good I'm not going to uh, build any artillery right now but we'll keep that in mind and fortify gold coast is done fortify Pernambuco okay one army tradition well okay we'll take it we have nothing else to do anyway so alright guys I might cut this one a little bit short uh, military leader we lost uh, a general I hope it wasn't yes it was of course it was the best leaders always die first it's 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 something amazing so uh, I'm going to execute the bailiff and I'm going to cut this episode right here and I guess I'll see you guys next time thank you for watching bye